Welcome to Compute 175 Python Review. In this video, we'll discuss files. We'll cover how to open files, how to read from files, and how to write to files. All the data that we've dealt with so far has been typed by us directly into Python source code or into the Python console with the input function. However, on your actual computer, you have all of these files that have contents in them. For example, here, I have a file that is an excerpt from a paper. This is a plain text file with English text in it. I know it's a plain text file because I can open it in a program like TextEdit on Mac OS or Notepad on Windows 10, and it contains unformatted text. It would be nice if I could get all of this text into Python so that I can analyze it. Let's switch over to Wing 101. To actually get data into Python, we need to open the file. Our file is called excerpt.txt, so we'll need to open using the following line. Open excerpt.txt r. The first argument is a file name provided as a string, and the second argument is a string indicating the mode. The mode indicates what operations I can do with a file. r indicates I want to open the file for reading. Before we run it, however, I'll store its return value in a variable creatively called file. File equals open. I'll save it and run it. And let's look at the contents of the file. File. Oh, that's weird. What I expected was to see a string with the entire contents of the file. Instead, what I got was some strange text IO wrapper object. To simplify, I'll call this thing a file object, and it represents a file on your computer. In order to actually access the text within the file, first you have to call the read method. The read method allows us to ask for the next n characters from the file. For example, let's read 16 characters from this file. File.read16. Great! Let's read the next 32 characters from the file. File.read32. And let's read another eight characters from it. File.read8. Every time you call read, it returns a new string from the file. What happens if you omit the arguments to read? So file.read with no arguments. It returns the rest of the file as one big long string. Now, what happens if I ask for even more characters from the file? File.read once again. It returns the empty string, meaning there is no more content to read from the file. So if I call read again, it will return the empty string. Once you're done using a file, always remember to call the close method, file.close. This tells the operating system, in my case, Mac OS, that my program is no longer using the file, and other programs are free to use the file as they please. This also means that I can no longer read from the file. So if I try to read from the file now, file.read, Python raises an appropriate error. Say I don't want a fixed amount of characters from the file. Instead, I want an entire line. Python makes this easy with the read line method. Let's open that file again. I'm going to run the script again. And now I'm going to call file.readline. Every time I call the readLine method, I get the next line from the file. So file.readLine. Notice how each string returned by the readLine method contains a backslash n at the end of it. This is the new line escape character, and it is a special character that indicates the start of a new line. This character is often unnecessary, so we can get rid of it from the end of the string using the string.strip method. So if I say the original string is file.readLine. Let's have a look at that. OK, so you see the backslash n at the end of the line. In order to get rid of that, we can go original, and since it's a string, I can call the dot .strip method. Let's continue getting the lines from the file. Just like the read method, if you call read line at the end of a file, it will return an empty string. As always, close the file once you're finished with it. So far, we've opened a file and read the text within it. 
How about creating new files and writing text? In Python, we need to open the file in the W mode instead of the R mode. So I'm going to get rid of this line and say file equals open, and I'm going to open a new file called hello.txt. And instead of R, I'll put a W here. The W indicates that the file is open for writing. So let's save that and run it. We can write any text of the file by simply typing file.write and then put a string here, like hello. And we can call it again with a new string, so world. All right, so let's see if this creates any files. OK, there we go, hello.txt. But when I open it, there's nothing there. Ah, I know why. I forgot to close the file. Let's go back to Python and write file.close. And there we go. The contents got written to the file. But wait a second. Shouldn't hello and world be on separate lines in the file? Nope. And the reason that they both appear on the same line is because we have not written any new line character to the file. Remember the backslash n character we saw when calling read line? If we want our strings to be on different lines in the file, then we need to write the new line characters to the file as well. Let's rewrite this all as a script. So I'll go back to this file, type file.write hello, and before the end of the string, I'll put a backslash n, which is the new line character. Now I'll do that again for world, backslash n, and finally, I'll close the file. Let's save that and run it. Now let's look at that file again. Yes, it turns out that hello and world are in different lines in the file. When we open a file with a W mode, it truncates any existing file. That is, if the file already exists, its existing contents will be deleted. I'll show an example of this. Let's go back to the Python script we wrote. And I'll change this line where it says hello to goodbye. We're still going to be writing to hello.txt. So I'll save that and run it. And let's look at how hello.txt has changed. Hello.txt now contains goodbye, new line, world. But what if I just want to add new contents to the end of the file? For that, we can open the file in append mode. This means that writes will occur at the end of files, keeping the existing contents. Append mode is specified by using A when opening the file. So instead of W or R, I'm going to change this to A. Now I'm going to add a new message to the existing file. So right now, it's going to write goodbye world. I'm going to change that back to hello world. So now let's run this file. Go back to our file manager and look inside. There we go. First, there was goodbye world from when we truncated the file. And now there's hello world when we wrote to the file in append mode. In this video, we've learned how to open files on your computer using Python. We've learned how to read from files, as well as how to write to one. We've also discussed three different modes for opening a file. 